This new Thunderbringer Big Paladin is hilarious fun, and it's actually pretty good too. I ended up having a 50% win rate in top 1500 legend, and that was before the latest balance patch, so this deck got even better. So how this deck works is we just have a lot of really huge minions that we can cheat out early using cards like the Alarm Security Bot to get a 5 cost version of any of our big things, or we have Kangor to cheat them out of our hand, or the Lead Dancers and Masked Revelers to pull them out of our deck too, as well as our newest addition, which is Thunderbringer. And what it does is it has a death rattle that gets to summon an elemental and a beast from your deck for free. So we're going to be taking advantage of that with Ragnaros and Neptalon for our elementals, as well as the Amplified Elix for our beasts. So you can see that there's a lot of really big minions in here and a lot of ways to cheat them out. And besides the Thunderbringer, there's actually a lot of really cool synergies with our death rattles in this deck. For example, Kangor can pull a Masked Reveler out of your hand, and that Masked Reveler could maybe summon a 2-2 Lead Dancer, and that 2-2 Lead Dancer could summon an Amethyst. So you can just create some hilarious death rattle chains with this deck that just make it impossible to deal with. But yeah, Big Paladin is looking bigger and better than ever, and this deck is so much fun too. So I hope you enjoy it as well. In this deck, like every other deck you see on this channel, is handmade and refined by me, and I've promised to never net deck. So if you want to see the most unique and competitive off meta decks you can't see anywhere else, then consider subscribing. But let's hop into the action. Stay funky. So in this build, I actually don't mind, uh, I don't mind hero powering here. Even though we have a tears tears, we don't have too many paladin minions to kind of get in the way of it. So good to see you guys. I think I'm probably just going to go hammer here and draw. Really try digging for Kangor. Actually, you know what? Let's do service spell instead. Yeah. The two dancers is fine, I think. I mean, there's a chance that we didn't find the Kangor next turn either, so let's just take these. Okay, here's their Nourish. And how's it going, Urub? Happy uh, weekend. Hope you're having a good one. I think we just want to try drawing. Maybe we can find... Maybe we can find Kangor next turn. Oh! Haha! <laughs> Sometimes lucky. Alright, wow, good curve now. Good curve. Thunderbringer deck? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know it's going to be good. As soon as you see this Thunderbringer. Okay... So having Amethyst means that our dancers are guaranteed to find our Anoya troops. Yeah, I, mi I missed you guys as well too. I miss streaming. I'm going to be here. But yeah, I've been feeling kind of terrible. Uh, you know, I had to recover from a sickness. Had to, uh, had to watch my son quite a bit lately. But I'm here. And yo, Master Puppet, how's it going? How's it going? How you doing? Let's maybe just uh, reveler into this. Don't want to pull it for free, do I? Rather pull something bigger in my hands. All right, let's see what this pulls. Ooh. Oh no, shoot! Oh, I didn't think that went through. Cause now my master leveler uh, doesn't die. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Really can't draw either. Okay. But. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't know, it's really weird though, like whenever I get sick, whether it's like a cold or flu or whatever, I always, my body always ends up getting like, uh, bronchitis afterwards. No matter what, it's super weird. Okay, so they're at 10 mana, which is getting a little scary now. Alright, so that's their whole turn, huh? Okay, I mean, dance floor, I guess, is fine. I think this is fine. Gosh, I really don't want this Amethyst to get stolen, though, by the Yogg. Ah. <laughs> I mean, they're going to have so many good targets for Yogg. <laughs> Thunder Monkey. <laughs> you know it. All right, so now that we have the Rusher down... 
Now that we have the rush location down, we can maybe Thunderbring her into something. Poisonous, yeah. Unfortunate. That's fine. Mm hmm. All right, got my Thunderbringer. Nice, let's go. All right, so our guaranteed Rag and Elec. Our guaranteed Rag and Elec. Oh, are they gonna Are they gonna hit the Thunderbringer? Are they gonna punch it? Are they gonna rake it? Okay. I guess they didn't have to rake it, right? Because it is poisonous, but. Nice, we're guaranteed the rag, we're guaranteed the elec. Is this lethal? Alright, yeah, then consecrate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Bada boom, bada bang, and then got the rag lethal. <laughs> Let's go. Interesting, the cult neophytes. I like it, I like it. All right, good consecration here. Oh, really good consecration here. Don't see a lot else getting played in DK? I know, right? Yeah, it does seem like that. All right, what are the odds that we can hit security bot or a Kangor here? Oh, security bot just a turn too late. I mean, better late than never, though. All right, so we can rush the uh, security bot into the Helia. All right, what do we get? Master Reveler, all right. Take that. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? All right, I guess this is pretty good. So we'll just Consecration and Muster here. And then if any of the uh, Silver Hands live, we can Amethyst. All right. Uh, yeah, good amethyst here, I suppose. Yeah, I maybe want to amethyst after the Thunderbringer. I want to keep my minions in the deck. <clears throat> Yeah, K-Jet is such a fun card. Probably like one of my top 10 legendaries. What do we get? Ooh, Anoyo, that's really good to get. Okay, and Elec, yeah, get our Thunderbringer done. For sure. I hope the Thunderbringer dies here so we can pull the other Elec out of our deck, plus maybe a Neptilon. Primus, okay. Are they gonna are they gonna suck my Thunderbringer? Oh, okay. Oh, I just stopped that consecration. Oh, I've already used both consecrations. Oh no. Okay. Um 
All right, just just pull, just pull Nettle on easy. Just not Ragnaros. Oh, too easy, too easy. Oh, too easy. All right, so with the Primus, it might be kind of tough to deal with the Samitus. <laughs> Strike. Uh, the Elec Death Rattle does three damage to all enemy minions. Asphyxiate. Oh no, nice. Okay, so it kills my Neptalon. Still got a lot of stuff on the board though. Uh, still got a lot of stuff to deal with, plus Amethyst. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. All right, yeah, good Amethyst here. Really good Amethyst. Uh, whatever, let's just get these. That's fine, it's fine. Lead Dancer is guaranteed a Kangor now, I guess. The buff. There's Gus, we're just going face here. Cool. If they do happen to kill some stuff, we do have a Tears Tears, so. Tears Tears does resurrect what? One, two, three. Hey, got him. Thunderbringer, too OP. Ooh, extra mana crystal against Drew. That's pretty good for them, too. Okay, so you can hit our Kangor or Dancer or Reveler. I had Yogg for the fun. I mean, at this point, Yogg is definitely not for the fun at this point. I mean, there's nothing really to rush into, but start getting something on the board, the lifesteal. They play any minion here, like they can't really rake this or play any minion, right? So it's kind of awkward. Yeah, they don't want to play like a Lasher or anything. Prison Breaker. Okay, next turn we get our Dancer down. This will pull, what, Amethyst or another Anoyo?
Oh, they better be able to kill the Sneptilon. They can't rake it. <laughs> they can rake one of the arms. Yeah. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, that was super awkward for them. Yeah, it's probably a no out of my deck, I guess. Next turn, I can Amethyst buff. This is actually less damage by leaving an arm up, though. But, I mean, it's still 12 damage, so... Yeah. When you have multiple different decks and multiple different classes where they're all centered around playing a neutral legendary as many times as possible. Yeah. It's a little little bit too much. And there's the Yoggers. Steel, okay. But they don't get the arms, so that's good, I guess. All right, we should be able to kill their Yogg back. So that's fine. No way they like Brewmaster this, okay. Ooh, the Thunderbringer. Oh, we don't even have an elemental in our deck. Oh no. <laughs> okay, at least we get an Elec out of our deck for free. Ooh, do we want to take it actually? Nah, let's get the Anoyo out of our deck. Cool. Save the rush location here for maybe like another Kangor. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, let me know by leaving a like down below. Each one of these decks that you see on this channel takes me a long time to refine, and leaving a simple like on the video helps support me so I can keep doing this. Now back to the action. Okay, so they draw one card there, that's good. Fizzle, yeah, maybe Ignis here. Okay, no Ignis. Yeah, good Kangor Rush plus Consecration. Getting the rag, nice. Let's go. And then just face. All right, rag sniping the three one. That's good. Yo, what's up, Robis? How you doing? Okay, so there's their Ignis. That was a top deck Ignis, right? So they don't have it through Fizzle. Nice, got the Elec. Let's go. Okay, so they still can't deal with the Rag unless they have like a Rake or... Oh, nice! The rag is protected by, uh, the location. All right, the rag lives. All right, rag, do your thing. You know what to do. Oh, yeah, rag knows what to do. Are they gonna get a bunch of armor here, right? I think it is uh, crispy. I think that was just yesterday. Yeah, red herring is another good beast as well too. Yeah, another good neutral beast. Yeah, as far as like good neutral like big beasts, you have Elik and the red herring, and for elementals you have Rag and Neptalon. You don't really have too many more big options besides that. At least yet. 
Uh, so they should have their snapshot here. Yeah. But they're getting low on cards. This is their last. Ignis. They played Yogg. They played Eonar. Okay. So what is their win condition now? Oh, dude, the Elec. Yeah, the Elec is going to clean up here. Oh, let's go. Go, Elec. All right, pretty good Amethyst here. Nice, let's go. <laughs> okay, plus five health. That's good. It's against Hunter. What is Feast and Famine going to be good to kill? Yeah, this is fine. The Rogue deck with Thunderbringer? Uh, I actually don't know. It's it's too new of a deck, I guess, to say for sure. Uh, I guess we could look at some stats on it. If there are any so far. Okay. Well, we can kill it. We can kill it. What are the odds that they banana it? Okay, they don't have banana. Good. Whew. All right, now we can kill that. Yeah, this is why I like Feast and Famine. So it looks like Thunderbringer in the Rogue deck is uh, about a 40% win rate. Yeah, I should get some stuff down, I guess. Yeah, I don't want to really take too much damage here going into, like, my uh, Coin Dancer turn. Celestial. Yep, yep, yep. It's a lot of damage. That is a ton of damage. They still have plus two spell damage. I guess if they want to, like, ricochet and kill the Dancer or get something out of it. Okay, still 14 away. We've had some that were kind of game changing, some that were pretty, you know, not so impactful. Dude, what the heck? They haven't done anything except for just gone face. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck, man? <laughs> All right, give me Kangor here. I need some lifesteal. Give me Kangor. Yes. Yes. There we go. Okay, so this pulls Neptal out if they kill it. Oh, dude, wait. We have lethal if they kill Kangor, right? Kill Kangor? Bro, what? <laughs> what? Are you kidding? Ooh, yeah. Another Feast of Famine would be pretty good. Huh? Go for the extra draw. Okay, so we have lifesteal in this thing. Okay, so more lifesteal so we can, or uh, more minions is good. So we can rush our lifesteal. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, nice. And we even have a Feast and Famine. Okay, this is looking much better now. Okay, so that is Lifesteal now, too. All right. Okay, this is looking better. This is looking better now.
Are they just gonna steal something? Okay. Kill one of these things, get some life steal, get some life steal. All right, here we go, here we go. Whew. Jeez, I mean, we're not out of it yet, though. We're not out of it yet. All right, so anything that it pulls is good here. Nice. I'm get some life steal on that. Am I actually hitting that with my face? I have three worms. Plus another minion here. Okay. Yeah, they don't really have any more face damage, right? So, whoo, man, they were actually almost able to burn me down there at first. Against a rogue, I like the security bots. That's fine. Okay, I like this. Maybe get like a rush location, Kangor. Okay, service bell, that's fine. And yo, how's it going, Comet? Good to see you, good to see you. Any chance of making an aggro death knight? Uh, probably not, unless like I can make it off meta, but I don't know. All the aggro death knights are like, what, unholy death knight, which is kind of already a thing. Give me the rush location here. Pop the secret as well too. Ooh. Just so we can draw two here. Yeah, pop the secret so they don't discard anything from my hand. Any deck that plays Ragnaros, automatically plus two cool points. And this is why we take Consecration. They don't even pop double cross, which I kind of actually want to pop a secret though. Uh, I guess it could be perjury, right? I hope it's perjury so they don't uh, rip my hand. Shoot. <laughs> no, they're going to discard my whole hand now. So do they start discarding my hand here? Oh, they're not discarding my hands. Okay, okay. Well then, yeah, I guess we're just gonna start doing Kangor stuff then. Cool. Play them out before they can start discarding the Kangor. Okay, what do we get? I guess anything that we get here is good. Okay, so now we get something else again. And that gets me my Amethyst. Nice, the chain reaction here. <laughs> and do they have like a prep or something? Yes, I guarantee my Amethyst. See if they can like prep out a destroy potion here. Got him. Got him good. Thunderbringer, that's good. Oh, Thunderbringer is so good. I 
I mean, their hand is pretty full, so how much can they utilize this uh, putricide? I don't know. It's always kind of risky, like, leaving the putricide up, but... Okay, so we get Neptalon and an Elec guaranteed. And we also draw a card. Holy smokes, let's go. <laughs> okay, now what do they do? So they get to kill one thing? No! <laughs> what? They sniped, what? How did they just snipe Neptalon like that? Okay, doesn't even matter. Got him. <laughs> let's go. Didn't even matter. Like, Hammer is fine. They have enough, like, turn two, turn three minions that we can kill with that. Okay, here we go. Turn three, turn four. Love to see this. Okay, so we can just hammer that. Uh, or do we want to go Consecration? Probably just hammer. Okay, things are lining up into a Consecration, maybe. All right, see what we get on five. Give me Kangor, maybe? Reveler, okay, I'll take it. Turn five Reveler, turn six Reveler. That's pretty decent. Just no Frost Plague, please. We have one Frost Plague, so what are the odds that we draw it? Go get those down. Oh, do we get any other spells? Oh wow, they drew five minions. All right, all right. Let's see, what we get here. Oh, we got the Neptalon. Let's go. So they want a Tomb Trader. This right. Okay, so they're going to mill a card too. But yeah, they definitely want to Tomb Trader this. Oh, that was a good burn. Nice. Yep, there's the Tomb Trader. Hopefully we get Kangor. Okay, that's fine. I know he was good. Then we can rush another Reveler into this. Oh, we got the Kangor. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I start getting some lifesteal here. Hell yeah. Another frost plague, oh no. That's fine. We're gonna start getting some lifesteal here with the Kangor. We should be fine. Okay. Oh, we actually got the Thunderbringer. Let's go. Oh, we can't lose now. Okay, so when Thunderbreaker dies, we get, what, Neptalon and Illic. 
Primus. Okay. Do they suck something here? Okay, that's fine. So we get Elec and Rag. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. How do we beat 15 health, though? That's a lot of health. Okay. Oh, wait. We can shrink. Oh, we can buff. Oh, let's just buff here. Nice. So red goes face. Boom. All right. This is looking good now. This is looking good. Patrick. Yeah, I don't really care. Don't really care. So we could res resurrect another Kangor for you need with the tears tears. Hey, got him. Boom.